Ensuring environmental excellence whilst driving urban innovation is a key challenge for our future cities. Expo City Dubai takes a novel approach to integrated urban life. It strives to create a space where community living, commercial growth and sustainable innovation thrive alongside each other. When millions of visitors descended on Expo 2020 Dubai three years ago, few would have thought that one day this site for the World Fair would turn into a thriving residential city. Work to create an integrated, innovative and inclusive development stretching across the south of Dubai is well underway and will become home to many from 2026, offering families and businesses a new way of living. The plan for the city was always to have the event as a moment in time, which was six months, but then to transition into the city that will be built over the next years as part of the city of Dubai. We're anticipating to have around 45,000 people living here and more than 30,000 working here. And we also have an expo forest, uh, which is really a public space where people can hike in, where a lot of our environmental offerings will be part of, including an arena that would house 30,000 people for any events that we want to have. It's going to be very close to the biggest airport in the world, Al Maktoum International. It's also going to be at walking distance from the Dubai Exhibition Center, and it's also 10 kilometers from the ports. The city also played host to the Climate Change Summit COP28. It's why at the very heart of this development project, is a commitment to sustainability. 80% of the original Expo infrastructure remains, focusing on energy efficiency and green living, a city setting new standards for ecological responsibility. The idea of sustainability was born long before any building work here actually began. The construction costs may well have been in excess of $7 billion for Expo 2020, but it was all a part of a plan to invest for longevity. Nadia Virgi has been involved in the Expo project since its inception. She says legacy was one of the first topics of conversation. Urbanization is happening at an exponential speed and it's happening mostly in this part of the world. That means that cities are places of prosperity and they're driving sort of global economy. And that means we have to invest in them with the UAE having an ambition to be net zero by 2050. And then on our own journey to decarbonisation, we need the world to do it with us. So that's our invitation to bring everybody in for catalytic change and continuing really to be at the forefront of what it means to be an urban centre that is sustainable. The more and more people are moving to the UAE every single day. And I think that they find that, you know, there's this real quality of life driver. So we're built on the sort of principles of a 15 minute city. We've got a lot of sustainable architecture and, and facility, but it really is sort of how do you then from a built environment, but also bringing the community into that journey with you, uh, educate your future generations, use technology, not for technology's sake, but for sort of improving human centricity and really focusing on, on the value to the individual about how you live and where you live and really living in balance and harmony with the environment around you. It's not like major global events here will cease. Next year, Expo will be host to the Asia Pacific City Summit, another step in this project's global recognition. But closer to home, many businesses have already and are planning to relocate to the city. It has been an amazing year. Uh, I think settling in here, uh, getting used to, to Expo City facilities, of course, shifting our employees because we came from three different offices, bringing everyone together. I think Expo brings first a very good mobility aspect. So it's a very innovative city, very well connected. You have the metro. So we are, of course, walking the talk, encouraging our employees to use carbon neutral ways of commuting to the office. What makes this city so unique in comparison to facing yourself in another major city uh, across the globe. We are working hand in hand with Expo, we're not just a tenant, so which is really good here. We are working hand in hand with them towards different objectives, so we feel connected. This city is the latest development within the Dubai 2040 Urban Master Plan, a comprehensive strategic roadmap that aims to position Dubai as a leading global city. In Dubai Urban Plan, we have identified 
the, let's say, the main three existing center and uh, identified as well the future urban centers in which Expo is one of these centers. Now, the five main urban center will support in the growth of the uh, various economic uh, sectors, the increase of job uh, opportunities, as well as provide a wide range of lifestyle facilities to cater uh, to the needs uh, of the city. I believe once the development is, is completed, all the other services, the housing, the schooling, I believe it is one of, uh, it's going to be one of the successful, not only urban center, it will provide uh, interesting communities that are livable and speaks uh, directly to the Dubai Urban Plan 2040 vision to making Dubai the best city to live in and the world. When completed, the vision is to make this a 15-minute city, meaning from your front door, you can access pretty much everything you need to live and work. Beyond its technological aspects, the city is expected to be a vibrant space with a strong emphasis on community and cultural exchanges, a development in the desert that could inspire other countries.